against the backdrop of conflicts and natural disasters and large-scale migration, against the backdrop of, of renewed nationalist and populist movements, against the backdrop of a world that is so rapidly changing, is the need to build a better understanding in the general public about human rights and why they matter. First, it is important that they pay their fair share of taxes. Stop tax dodging. Because it's the revenues that they pay in taxes that pay for schools, clinics, roads, all the things that poor, mostly poor people need to claim their rights, to lift themselves out of poverty and misery. When companies are going into countries to you know, build business, to invest and so on, they should be asking, where are the human rights defenders? How are the women human rights defenders treated in those countries? And then make a decision on whether they're going to invest and help, you know, of course, protect and promote the rights of civil society and human rights defenders, as well as the population as a whole. If we talk about compensation, the business thinks that it's not their responsibility, but it is their responsibility because it is one supply chain that we are talking about and workers in down to this chain. And, you know, uh, the brand and retailers is or business in top so they do have responsibility to take care of all those as well so the main challenge is the willpower and also uh, the law is not implemented. SDGs present also a fantastic opportunity not only to society but to business because you know business cannot be healthy if there is not a healthy society. Business must move away from just compliance trying to fit in the regulations and think about a fundamental shift where they manage the tension between their commercial interests, human rights, and sustainable development. There's a tension there that needs to be balanced. Right now, it's balanced in their favor. Their profits, their commercial interests, weigh heavily against the rights of workers, suppliers, the human rights of all the people in their supply chain. So move away from corporate social responsibility, move to looking at does my supply chain respect, protect human rights.